Hey everyone, Zotaku here. Recently, Kirby Triple Deluxe got released in Japan, and will be soon released in North America. So I decided to do a list on what makes the Kirby series so unique, copy abilities. So welcome to our top 15 Kirby abilities list. I'm not going to be doing this list alone though, I'm going to have my good friend Steel Rotom tag along. Thanks for having me, and uh, I like Kirby. I have liked Kirby for a long time, and Kirby's one of my favorite series. So yeah. So number 15 on our list is the needle. The needle is basically the ultimate defense mechanism. Like if you're mad and some Waddle Dee is just like, hey, hey Kirby, and you're just like, no, I don't want to talk right now, you friggin' Waddle Beep. Arr! And the Waddle Dees are like, no. Directed by Uncle Bill, copyright 2014 from Perfect Smash Bros. But seriously, guys, the needle is really awesome and deserves the number 15 spot on this list. Okay, so number 14 is the jet ability. Yes, I know. If you've played Super Star Ultra or Super Star, then you know that the jet isn't a very good ability. It's a bit tricky to handle, but to me it was very fun to use. In this case, it's not the usefulness of the ability, but just the idea of the ability that makes me love it. I mean, Kirby is a rocket. He can hover and blast himself everywhere, and he can shoot Hadoukens. What's better than that? Parasol. It's it's a parasol. You somehow have to suck in an enemy holding an umbrella to get an umbrella, but it's a parasol, and when you fall down, you get this cute animation of Kirby swinging, and it's very cute. Oh, and it kills everything it hits, so that's cool. So number 12 on this list is the wheel. The wheel. The wheel is a great power-up, as much as it doesn't have as many uses as other power-ups in the Kirby series, it really makes up for that because of how powerful it is. The basis of the power-up is that Kirby turns into a wheel, starts rolling around at a huge speed. Gotta go fast. Yeah, I'm a wheel. So once Kirby transforms into his wheel, he keeps going in the same direction, annihilating everything in his path until he reaches a wall, or the player stops it manually. But the best part is, the hat! It's, it's backwards and everything! You just gotta love that hat! Number 11 is the Missile. Missile is a pretty rare ability in the GBA Kirby games, only being obtained by one enemy. So the basis of this ability is that you turn yourself into a missile and propel yourself into enemies and explode. Here's an example. Number 10 goes to Hammer Kirby. Hammer Kirby is basically part of Kirby's icon. I mean, it was in Smash Bros, it was even in the Kirby anime. But what really makes his power up number 10 on this list is the amount of combinations this ability has. You can do a fire swing attack, a spin attack, a ground spin attack, a flip attack, even an uppercut spin attack. This ability definitely has a huge variety of a moveset and deserves the number 10 spot on this list. So the mic ability. What is it about the mic ability? What is it that makes it number 9 on this list? Well I mean it's not the awesomest ability ever that kills everything around you while Kirby instantly goes a green mohawk and screams into a microphone. <gasps> yeah, it's that awesome. So number 8 goes to the magic ability. The magic ability is probably one of the most unique abilities ever in the Kirby series. The basis of the ability is that Kirby gets a top hat which is apparently magic. But anyways, when Kirby gets this magic hat, he can do a whole variety of different moves using the hat. He can shoot some cards out of his hat, he can let these three birds out of his hat. No, it's just like, how did he kill you this time? And he's just like, BIRDS! He defeated me by using a bunch of BIRDS! Oh, and he can use this thing. Like I said, unique. So you're playing Kirby, and you come across this mini-boss named Bugsy. 
So you beat him with whatever ability you had before, and then, after you beat him, you discard your other ability and swallow him. And then, you have one of the most overpowered abilities ever. So yeah, the backdrop, it's basically just as overpowered as the suplex, but there's something more appealing about taking your victims, going up into the air, and then slamming them to the ground, than just merely throwing them. Because that's what suplex is. And suplex, even though it's still just as overpowered, I chose backdrop. Kirby 64. I'm pretty sure that at least half of you who are watching this haven't played it. But Kirby 64 introduced mixed abilities, where you could take one ability and then combine it with another to get an ability that's pretty cool. There were many that we could have put into this one slot that we had for Kirby 64, but we decided to go with the one mixed ability that I found fun to use during my adventure in Kirby 64. While I could have put either of the beam swords, I put the drill ability. You get this ability by combining rock and spike. So what basically happens is just the drill pops out of your hand, and then the drill propels you through the landscape, pretty much killing anything it comes in contact with. And then once you want to walk normally, you just throw the drill away, and then produce a new one. Yay! Drills! Kirby's Return to Dreamland! game that was 11 years in the making. Definitely one of the better games on the Wii, but you know which makes it even better? Water ability. So with the water ability, which I think should have came earlier since they had a fire ability and not a water ability, let's see what the name says. Water. You'd think an ability like this would be pretty bland, but they actually made it work. You can shoot water from your head, from that crown, and you shoot water out of your mouth and make rainbows. But the best part is, oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god, that dash. Ninja Kirby. Who doesn't like ninjas? I don't know, this guy? Anyways, when Kirby gains access to the ninja ability, he gets an epic ninja hat in this purple ponytail? Eh, I don't know. Purple ponytails aside though, what really makes this an amazing ability is the amount of speed and moves it has. The main moves ninja has are the main sword slice move, which has an awesome animation by the way, and the dagger throwing move. Like, oh my god, this move is the spammiest move in all of Kirby. Like I said before, Ninja has a huge speed and can use moves very quickly and thoroughly, but paired up with a dagger throwing move, it's like, YOU AIN'T GONNA PASS ME DDD! HA! But seriously though, Ninja Kirby. So the plasma ability. One thing about this ability is that it can be referred to different names depending on the Kirby game you're playing. Spark or plasma, so I'm just gonna go with plasma. So the plasma ability is pretty common one that you can actually get from a few enemies in the game. But even though it's a common one, it's pretty awesome too. So once you get the ability, you get this flaming spark on your head and you can use this move called the plasma barrier, which basically puts a barrier of plasma around you. So yeah, plasma. I couldn't think of anything else to say about it. It's a bird! It's a plane! It's super- oh wait, it's just Kirby UFO. The ability is one of the rarest in the series, only being obtained by one enemy that is exceedingly rare to find. The UFO enemy usually runs away. But if you manage to get one, or in Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, swallow two ability enemies at the same time, and then get the roulette machine, you can just wait and it'll give you the UFO ability. With the UFO ability, you can do anything a stereotypical UFO should be able to do. You can shoot laser beams, charge up laser beams, and fire laser beams. Oh, and you can fly, like a UFO. Yep. There's only one ability that can be number one. That is Cupid! Nah! It's Smash! Not that Smash, this Smash. 
Smash is the only ability that can be number one on this list because it's an easter egg in an easter egg. In Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, if you can manage to find Master Hand, yes, Master Hand, then you beat him and obtain his ability, you can see that Kirby looks exactly the same. But all of his moves have been replaced. The Smash ability basically transforms Kirby's moveset into the moveset from Super Smash Bros. And it's awesome. Kirby can use the hammer move, cutter, lightning fast punches, and the rock move all simultaneously with the Smash ability. It brings the largest variety of move combinations into the game, while also bringing the joy in Smash Bros. fanatics like us. All of this makes Smash not just the best ability in the game, but the best ability in the entire series.